Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Libra, we're going to be uploading a video that specifically connects with that of Saturn and Jupiter conjunction. If you guys are wanting to know how it's going to affect your specific sign, you guys stay tuned for that. All right, Libras, let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for it this month in regards to love and romance. We're starting off with the Ace of Pentacles. All right, Libra, this is how you're viewing your partner or the person of your interest. You may be dealing with an Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, there is definitely a new beginning here. For some of you guys, you're entering a new cycle. Uh, for others of you, this is a new person, a, fra a fresh, brand new, spanking new person coming into your life. Your next card here is the Hanged Man. There is certain things about this individual that are going to be changing your perspective in life about love. Um, I feel that you've been fixated on certain things. Um, and this person that's coming in, or you may already be dealing with this person, is it's almost like if you look at this card, like her eyes really stand out in this deck. And I feel that... I feel that what they're showing here, what they're talking about here is there is almost like a feeling of like eye-opening experience where this person is changing your perspective on a certain situation. This could be in regards to love. This could be in regards to life in general. But I feel that this person is really going to challenge you. The Hanged Man is a very spiritual card. It speaks about having the need to repose or having the need to hang upside down to be able to see the perspective, uh, a very different perspective from the one you've been fixated on or the one that you feel is your current situation. With the Ace of Pentacles, there is a new beginning coming towards you that is going to be very eye-opening for you. Now, your next card here is Jesus, <laughs> the Ace of Swords. I think you and Sagittarius are the only signs that have gotten more than one Ace in their reading. So you see this person as, you see this, this could be a very, per, this could be a person that you see as very successful. This could be a person that you see as being very honest, very forthcoming, very honest, honest in their approach when it comes to love. And I feel that this could be very like renewed, not renewed, sorry, refreshing type of energy. I feel like perhaps you've never dealt with an individual that uh, is very aware. If you can look at both of these aces here, it's like their forehead, right? Their crown or crowns, I should say, is right at the center of their heads, their forehead. So this is a person that brings a lot of insight, a lot of knowledge. This is a person that has experience. This is a person that has gone through a lot that they were able to transform their energy to a higher vibration. I feel that you're definitely dealing with a person or an individual that is going to really open your eyes in regards to how you viewed life up until now. And they're going to challenge you. It's not an easy connection, uh, especially when we're dealing with Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is all to do with brutal honesty. It is all to do with communication, intellect, intelligence. The Ace of Pentacles, a very practical approach to their intellect or a practical approach to their understanding, to their beliefs. Major, major newness of energy here, Libra. For some of you guys, you've been dealing with the situation Dealing with people from the past. I feel that you're, that chapter that chapter is finally coming to an end. You have two aces here. And right at the center, waha. 
what happens? You see things from a different perspective. Life is showing you a different way of living, a different way of loving. If you see it like this, she's reaching. You can see that? I'm not sure if you can see that. She's reaching towards Rose, towards a Rose. She's reaching towards love. There could have been some blockages that you've been experiencing, again, dealing with people from the past, etc. But I definitely do see here that there is a connection with an individual that's going to challenge you for the better. Walking away from things that don't matter to you anymore. Walking away from old situations because you are taking these aces, these blessings, these new beginnings, and you're walking away from a situation or circumstance that you've been there for quite a while. You can see this person is not the type of person to be messed with. And I'm going to be honest with you, with the Ace of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, and the Ace of Swords, this is not a person that will sacrifice themselves to make a relationship work. And I feel that you may be intimidated by that because the Eight of Cups is here. So the Eight of Cups could be like, mm, you know, I don't think I'm able to match that energy or maybe I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling like I want to approach this person because their expectations are too high. So it's kind of like if you allow your fears to get the best of you, you're going to walk away from this connection before it even happens, before it takes off. For some of you guys, you're already dealing with this individual and you're feeling like this could be the best thing in your life, but at the same time, this could be the worst thing. So it's like, should I even try? With the Eight of Cups, these are fears coming up. These are fears about inadequacy. These are feelings or, or fears of feeling like their expectations are too high. I don't feel that with these aces here, though. I feel that this is a person with the hanged man that has gone through a lot. And they just don't have time for the BS. How the person is viewing you the lover's card. They are definitely interested in you, Libra. They are definitely feeling you. They see you as potential. They see you as an individual that can actually make them happy. Page of Cups, there's emotions there. There's some type of connection. They are feeling you. Eight of Swords, they may be in their mind about this connection as well. They may actually be feeling like, well, Libra's not really making the effort. Remember, aces are beginnings. This is potential, but it is up to you to make that happen. With the eight of swords, they're viewing the situation as, for some of you guys, there could be lack of communication. For others of you, it could be that you just not really trying to communicate because you feel like, like I said, it, it's almost a feeling like this could be the best thing that ever happened to me, or this could be the worst thing that ever happened to me. And worse has more to do with fears. And the person is viewing you as a partner or a person that they can see themselves with. But with the Eight of Swords, there's a bit of anxiousness. There's a bit of waiting to hear from you or waiting for you to make the first move. And the King of Cups. This is emotions. This is the potential you start off with aces, the potential to create this type of relationship where it is a very deep connection. It is a connection that perhaps you haven't experienced up until now. And they're literally opening your eyes up to the possibilities. There's something in here that tells me there is some type of fear. 
with the king of cups you may be dealing with water energy i see i see uh cancer pisces scorpio here i also see uh aquarius libra like yourself uh gemini earth energy we started with earth energy uh taurus capricorn virgo gemini but it's more to do with energy you guys If you guys haven't met this individual yet or you're not dealing with a specific individual, you're definitely going to be experiencing this connection in this month. But what they're saying here is don't let the fear get the best of you or don't let the fear get in your head that you walk away from this connection before it even begins. Oh, <laughs> we have... Healer of the ages. Yeah, I feel that for some of you guys, you're not fully healed from past experiences that this connection can scare you. I feel that this connection, what they're telling me, yeah, they keep like repeating that this is gonna, like this person is gonna challenge you. But I feel that they're gonna challenge you for the better because they're gonna bring out the best in you, not the worst in you. The difference between this connection and past relationships is that they've brought in the worst out in you. And this connection is going to bring out the best in you. But bringing out the best means stepping up to the plate, taking it to the next level, upping your game. So yes, it could be scary. It could be challenging. Is it worth it? Only you would know. But if you're walking towards your happiness, absolutely it's worth it. I think this could be uh, the most balanced or f happily fulfilled connection uh, that you may have because there is not only are they saying they're giving you the green light. This is a major uh, potential here. You have two aces, but you also have the ace of pentacles. And I always tell you guys in my ratings, I prefer to see the ace of pentacles than the ace of cups. Because the Ace of Cups has to do with emotions, but we all know emotions change, right? With Pentacles, there is potential there to create a stability that will become concrete in the physical realm, meaning in this realm. It's not, it doesn't change like emotions. So if you're looking for something stable, Libra, open your heart and don't let the fears get the best of you. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you guys some type of insight. I wish you guys the very best. Happy holidays and we'll see each other soon. Bye.